Hey folks, Dan Freer here with the Mortgage Update, and today is January 23rd, 2020. So let's see how the China virus is affecting the market. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Okay, so what happened today? Well, this number, if you follow the channel, is good. We love it. We love it. We love it. What the, what's the trend doing? Love it. Look here. Look at what this trend is doing. Fantastic. And we're getting to the top of the Fibonacci levels. And I'll explain that in a second. Why all this is good news. Okay. So what's actually affecting the markets? What's causing this nice little run in mortgage-backed securities? And I'm going to explain to the newbies what this chart is in a second. So don't go away. What happened in the stock market today? Here's why we're analyzing all this stuff. Basically, let's just strip down everything to its basic terms. If you had money to invest, let's just say you have $2. And I know I beat this thing to death, but I want people to follow it, really get what I'm talking about. You got $2 to invest, and there's two buckets you can invest in. Let's say there's three. There's a bucket that you put the money under the, your mattress. Then there's a bucket of bonds that, that's that's a, a basically a savings account that you're buying into a bond and you get some your returns they're not huge returns but they're steady returns and solid returns you're not in most cases you're really not going to lose your money there's not much risk there then you can go into the stock market and risk it and uh, i'll just leave it at that i know some of it's not risky or whatever but let's in its in its stripped down form so let's throw the, the putting the money money under the mattress. That's that's not good because you're you're going to lose money due to inflation and everything else. So you have two buckets to invest in, stocks or bonds. Okay. So if the markets or the world is going really good, the economy's booming, the world's booming. There's there's great outlooks for every everything. The employment numbers are going well. Uh, manufacturing's going well, shipping's going well, everything in the in the perfect world, everything's looking positive. You take your $2 you want to invest and you throw it in the stock market bucket, okay? And you let it ride and let it ride. Now, if things start getting a little bit, eh, you know what, the stock market's overpriced or, you know what, manufacturing numbers are starting to come back. Ah, companies are starting to miss their earnings estimates. Um, You know what? The Middle East might bomb us. There's uncertainty. There's 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 fear in the world. You're going to hear people say or investors say people are fleeing to safety. Okay, what that means is you want to take some of your money off the table in the stock market because you're thinking there's going to be a correction, and you want to start moving it into uh, an investment that's it's not giving you a great return, but it's giving you a good return, better than you know just putting the money in your in your bank account and getting that 0.00001 return, okay? So, that's what we monitor here, and that's what I monitor on a daily basis on what all these instruments are, what's all the, the what's the economy doing, what's employment doing, what's the world looking like, what's the stock market looking like, is it good, is it overvalued, is it risky, or is it, you know, all in, let's bet the, bet the farm because the, everything is going up and up and up. So, when you start seeing the unemployment claims move, moving moving up, that means more people are filing for unemployment. Okay, that's not good. So, uh, there, uh, let's go through the the check marks that I give you know basically every day, and let's give a positive or negative of what these numbers are coming out at right now. Okay, so unemployment filings are up, not good. Manufacturing numbers have been declining or retracting seven out of the last eight months. This month was the first time of an uptick. Okay, so the trend there isn't real, real positive, but it's starting to come back. Thanks goodness to for the, uh, the China agreements and the Canadian-Mexican agreements. So that might be a little uh, game changer here for us. All right, so another thing that we watch is employment. Employment's basically staying in good, in good areas. But there, it's not robust numbers. We're not beating record numbers, record numbers, record numbers every month. So let's say that's a neutral. All right. So then the next area that I focus on, that a lot of people focus on, is the freight index. How much goods and services are being moved around? Well, 
we have eight months of consistently pulling back on shipments. Okay, so let's just go through those parameters right now. The unemployment number is upticking, so that's not good for the markets. Manufacturing is, is down seven out of eight months, not good for the markets. The em employment numbers are basically middle of the road, so we'll give that a neutral. The case uh, freight indexes are at a seven or eight month uh, lag or pullback in the market. That's a negative. Another factor came in today, and I didn't even know this existed. I'll be honest with you, and I follow this stuff for, for years, and I have a degree in economics. There's a greed index, and that came out today, and it, the number was like 75. I really don't know what that means, but I've been, you know, I do this research every day, and I'll find out more for us as we move forward. That index is saying the markets are overpriced, stock markets. So if you just looked at that in a nutshell, you'd say, you know, all these areas are signaling, you know what, the markets might be a little overpriced. So what would you do? Let's start taking some money off the table. And let's, now we have, instead of having $2 into the stock market, let's pull a dollar out and let's throw that in the bond market. So here's why I'm making sense, here's why I'm trying to make sense of this thing. When you take the money out of that, the, the stock market, you're buying into the bond markets. The, the um, mortgage-backed securities market is bonds, a bond instrument that actually is the tool or the instrument that creates or dictates mortgage rates. So this is the price of a bond, that bond, okay? So what's happening is more people are coming out of the stock market, and it doesn't look like that here because of the S&P, but today's, again, the Dow, people are taking out of the stock market, the, the overall broad scheme of things, and putting it into the mortgage-backed securities market. So thus, it's increasing the price, and this is what this is, the price of a bond. So the more you pay for a bond, the lower the yield that you're going to get on that bond. Thus, the, low, the more you pay for a mortgage-backed security bond, the lower the mortgage rate's going to be, your return, your yield on that investment. So what we like in this and what we follow here, this is the chart of what's going on recently in the last two months in the mortgage-backed securities market. We love this uptick. Love it. Because, again, as the price goes up, mortgage yields come down. Look where, we, where we've gone since the beginning of the year. I mean, this is a huge move. Okay? So, what my concern is here is a couple things. I think the stock market's overpriced. However, this is one huge run. So, and if you follow my channel, I always say pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. But in this realm right now, there's so much uncertainty in the world, the economy, the stock market and everything. I think this is going to continue. Okay. So thus, I think mortgage rates are still going to, to go down a little bit. Okay. So you might say, well, Dan, why would I refinance now or buy a home now? Great question. Uh, what I offer to my clients is if the rate drops over a half a percent in the next two years, I'll refinance you with no lender fees to you. Okay, so that I'm taking that risk off the table. If you're looking to buy a home, perfect time to buy, especially probably coming into the spring in the next two, three months, um, because we, we've seen this run. I don't think us coming back all the way down to here in the next 30, 60 days is going to happen. It could. But it's a perfect time to do that. You're never going to time anything perfect. What I'm getting at is it's a good time right now uh, for mortgage rates. A very good time. One of the things we follow here, and people make fun of this word. I didn't make it up, but it's, it's in the economics fields. We call Fibonacci levels. So they're basically floors and ceilings to regions of investments. So this basically the market's or this trend is going to bounce back and forth between these lines in the normal markets. Okay, think of it as bumpers when you're playing, uh, when you're a little kid and you're bowling. You know, it's going to go bink, 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 bink. So that's what these, these levels are right here. All right, so we've just hit the top of this. So there might be a little bit of profit taking here. So what I'm advising a lot of my clients right now is we might want to look real careful and watch this on a basically hour by hour basis. We might be looking to lock in a bunch of people. Um, you know, all my clients, or not all of them, but a good majority of them, because I, I don't want to get slaughtered because we've gotten fat through this time because we've gotten rates that are you know probably a quarter to almost a half in some situations 
lower than we were at the beginning of the year. But I don't want to be greedy and then see a pullback and lose my clients. You know, if I can lock you in, it's at a rate that's a quarter or half percent higher or lower than where we were at the beginning of the year. I don't want to give any of that back. So hopefully that makes sense. So uh, again, we're, we're now hitting that ceiling and that's, that's concerning. But we hit the ceiling here. You see it here. And we kind of stagnated on there and then we started moving up. So that's, that's basically the technicals behind what's going on in this bond market right now. So it's good. We're in great position. The Even the better news that's going out right now is there's a lot of uncertainty in the stock markets with, I think a lot of people are coming out saying it's over, they think it's overpriced. I think it is too. Is it going to continue to run up? Yeah, probably because there's really nothing there that's really kind of killing the market. But I would take some of my money off the table and buy bonds. And then in the mortgage business, that's, a, that's good for the mortgage business as well as interest rates. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's go to some news that came out. Um, how the average loan looks, the, the loans or um, mortgage rates. This gives you the mortgage rates since December. This is, I, a lot of times they get the numbers here. I don't really know where they get them. Um, you know, I just, I just look at that with a, you know, kind of a brush. Uh, foreclosures at a four-year low, that's great. One of the things that came out today is there's, there's a new FICO score coming, coming out. And I'm going to give you a lot of details uh, on that in the next day or weeks to come uh, because this could be a, a market changer for buying homes. So it could be if you on the good side of credit, it could you know help boost your credit scores up. If you're mediocre or you're running up some debt, it, it might be devastating to you. Um, some good news, also some additional good news that come out. As existing home sales jumped 3.6% versus the 1.5% expected. So a lot of people are jumping into the markets right now with that. Another area that we have here is supply for home sales hit a record low. We see this in the Chicagoland area, especially in the 180 to 250 price range. So if you have you know, more demand for a product than you have supply, that increases the pricing of the loan to get an equilibrium. That's why prices are starting to go up. So that's good for homeowners. That's not good for new home buyers. So look into buying now because you're going to miss out on all this data here. So let's go on. What, what happened with the stock market today? Well, the Dow fell 20, 26 points. And here, like I, I was saying at the beginning, this virus thing, um, I, I don't see how it's such a big worldwide event, but it is causing some havoc in the market. Let's take that for to our advantage because that is helping push the stocks stock market down, pushing the money into bonds raising the price of the bonds, dropping mortgage rates, good time for you to do something. So just a recap of who I am. My name is Dan Free of the Mortgage Update. I do this or I try to do this every day. Um, if you're in the Chicagoland area, tune in every weekday from 7.30 to 8 o'clock. I am PM. You can hear me on WYLL Radio. It's a Christian radio station in the Chicagoland area. You can also hear me on WIND Radio Chicago. Saturday mornings from 7 to 8. Um, I, po I try to post a YouTube video every day in regards to a, a mortgage update. And then I also try to post another YouTube video of either content from my mortgage show or just giving you information of tutorials on different programs and thus. So I work with about two-thirds of the country. So if you're out there and you, you'd like to you know, reach out to me and get a second opinion, what my opinions are, this week or last week was my anniversary. I'm, I've been doing this for 32 years now. Um, so, you know, hopefully I got enough experience under my belt. You deal with me personally. Um, you know, most of the time I am the one that you initially get a hold of. If not, I will call you and thank you. But in the background, I'm reviewing every file that comes through the, comes through the doors, giving my recommendation on what we, where, what program we should put you into and, uh, and why. So if you'd like to reach out to me for a second opinion, get pre-approved. Let's see if we can refinance it and save you some money. Give me a call at 844-775-LOAN, which is 5626. Uh, shoot me an email at dfrio, frio is F-R-I-O, at parksidelending.com. Sorry, my dog's barking at somebody. I'm at home right now. It's 9 o'clock on my time. Um, we're checking out, check out my... Um, website, thefrioteam.com. And, uh, but if you even want to just Google me, just Google the mortgage update with Dan Frio and you're, you're going to see page after page after page of Google information about me because I've been doing this a long time. So God bless. 
If I can be of any help, reach out. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye-bye.